a B-1B Lancer that had received a flurry of technological modifications as part of a new program intended to replace the fleet of aged bombers far more quickly than normal was launched on Sept. 8 by the 7th Bomb Wing at Dias Air Force Base in Texas. According to a press release on October 4, the B-1 was equipped with modernized identification friend or foe, Link 16 Tactical Data Communications, Upgraded Secure Communications, an Updated Defensive Avionics System, and Modernized Mass Data Storage to handle the large amounts of information flowing through modern battlefields. The improvements are a part of the BEAST program, which call Dan Alford, commander of the 7th Operations Group, said should make the job of the pilots a little bit easier. In the announcement, he claimed that BEAST significantly increases the lethality of the B-1B, surpassing its current capabilities. Our aircrew is eager to use this new technology since it will lighten their burden and free them up to concentrate on using the armament system in combat. Under BEAST, DIAS personnel collaborate with a contract field crew that has been assembled especially to carry out the modification. The 76th Aircraft Maintenance Group at Tinker Air Force Base, Oklahoma, where B-1s receive depot-level maintenance, and Air Force Global Strike Command are also involved in the initiative. It aims to hasten the deployment of new systems. BEAST packages several different upgrades together in a software suite streamlining the upgrade process and better equipping the team to meet the demanding operational tempo. Call Joshua Pope, commander of the 7th Maintenance Group at Dias, said in an interview with Air and Space Forces magazine. According to Pope, Beast shortens the upgrade process by two years. He claimed that it takes an average of 22 days to complete the upgrades. 22 additional B-1s at Dias will undergo one-by-one -one modernization during the following two years. According to Pope's statement in the press release, this method allows for the quickest completion time while giving each bomb wing flexibility to schedule their aircraft for modification according to their aircraft availability requirements. It is ideal for all organizations and guarantees that the B-1B is prepared to come back from this location. The B-1 will continue to operate until the stealthy B-21 Raider, which has not yet completed its first test flight, is operational. The Air Force Life Cycle Management Center has a multifaceted strategy, which includes making investments in suppliers of replacement parts and researching the possibility of using the bomber as a test platform for hypersonic weapons. The AGM-86B air-launched cruise missile was one of the nuclear weapons that the B-1 was prohibited from carrying externally by the START Accord. However, AFLMC has found a way around this restriction. Along with testing new armaments, Boeing's plant in Washington state is also fully assessing the structural fatigue of a B-1 fuselage and wing to find any weak points. The bomber is being digitally twinned by the Air Force, which should aid with predicting structural problems and provide a starting point for improvements. According to Brig, Chen, William Rogers, Program Executive Officer for Bombers at AFLSMC, we're keeping the fleet safe until the B-21 shows up. We can continue to fly that jet. It is simply laborious. According to Pope, the beast upgrades should extend the B-1S life and lethality out to 2040 and beyond. Thank you.